Hello, welcome to Books with Lexi. Today I am introducing you to my brand new TBR game. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I post two to three videos a week and host reading sprints as well. I have been wanting to do a TBR game for so long, but I could not figure it out. Finally, I have something that I'm really excited to share with you. These are just going to be the instructions, not my first time playing it, but my next video is going to be my very first round of Escape the TBR. So I have created a board and the goal is to escape. It's like kind of escaping a haunted house. It's not like an escape room where you have to figure out clues to unlock certain things to get out, but I will have to escape the house layout. So this is the board. Each little square, like in between four dots, is a space. There are six colors on the board. They represent different genres. Red is horror, orange is thriller, green is mystery, blue is sci-fi, purple is other, so romance, fantasy, literary fiction, things that I don't read as much. And then yellow is the genre of my choice. So I don't have a genre constraint just following the prompt. So the black lines are doors. So there's the exterior doors on some of the rooms. So here, 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 and this green one down here, and then on the orange one. So there's one in each color. And then there's the interior doors. So if a room touches another room, there is a door to get to it for all of the spaces. What'll happen is I pick a spot, I roll these two regular six-sided dice, and then I will move that amount. I can move however I want, it just cannot be diagonally, and I will just make my way through here. I did make my favorite genres a little bit bigger than others, and I do plan on starting on different entrances each time I play so that I do get to different genres more often because like up here is where most of the yellow is so I don't want to like exclude anything. So the catch is that I have to go through two rooms to escape. So if I start here I can't immediately go to this room to escape. I would have to go through two rooms excluding these two so I'd have to go through blue and then yellow to get to the orange if I started here. Or to escape from this green one from red, I could not go to blue and then green. I would have to go blue, yellow, green. Those are just my rules so that I don't escape with two books. But I also wanted to add a twist. The goal of this is to escape, so I had to make that a little more difficult. Each space has the doors to go through, and once I get to a door, I have these purple cards and they either say door is unlocked and then I can continue or they say door is locked remove one book from TBR so if I come across a door and it is locked I'll hold this up I'm gonna remove the cat hair if I'm in this room and I'm trying to go through this door but I land on a door is locked I cannot go through that door anymore, so I have to find a different way to escape. So I would have to backtrack and get to a different door. So if I get 10 and I get to the door on 5 and I get that the door is locked, I still can use the rest of those 5 to move towards the next door. So I couldn't go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I would have to pick a different door to go through. Um, just to make things a little more difficult. Also to add to that, say I get to the outside door to escape, I have orange cards that either say you've escaped and that means that the round is over and I have my full set TBR, or I could get one that says door is locked, remove two books from TBR. So that means I cannot exit out of this door. I have to pick a different one. And I still have to follow the rule where I go through two rooms to escape. So if I try to escape from here and I get doors locked, I can't go here to here to, es to escape. I would have to go back to yellow, then to orange, then to yellow again. So these two sets make it a little more difficult to escape. It would be no fun if I could just escape immediately 
every time. I had to make things more difficult. Another rule is that if I roll doubles, I am able to go through an interior door without checking if it's unlocked or locked with the card. It will automatically be unlocked. So that's just like a little bonus for me. I mean, I guess it could be punishment if there are ones that I really want to remove from my TBR. So that's what the board looks like. That's how I will move. I have a small for now stack of prompts. So they are things like first person or an emoji poll. Um, so there's 25 in the stack right now. So I'm editing and I realized I wasn't very clear about how the prompts actually work. So I will roll the dice and move that amount. And whenever I land on a square at the end of that roll, I will pick a prompt card and I will have to match the genre for the room that I'm in with the prompt that I pull. So if I'm on red, I will have to read a red book that matches that prompt. So every time I roll, I will be getting a new prompt. And also with the cards that say remove one or two books from TBR, I will get to just choose and remove whichever ones I want. It does not have to be the most recent one that I pulled. I think that pretty much covers everything. I have my different genres, the way I move about the board, the prompts, the cards that determine if I can go through a door or if I can escape or not. So the reason I put remove one book or two books from TBR is because I did not want to make this that I ended up with 30 books in my TBR. I do generally want to keep it around 10. If it ends up being more, like, that is my own fault and that's fine. But I did not want this game to be 30 books every month because I just can't do that. I think that's all you need to know to understand how I am playing Escape the TBR. I would love to know what you think of this new game. I hope everything was clear. It will make a lot of sense when you see me play it as well. That will be my next video after this one. Definitely hit the bell below to make sure you get notified when I post my TBR game. If you have any prompts you would like to see me add to this game, leave them in the comments. And if there are any that I don't already have in my game, I will add them. I'm so excited to share this with you. I cannot wait for you to see it in action. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!